Hi everyone, I'm Backpacker Gear Editor Eli Bernstein. And a lot of the times when you're hiking through icy or snowy terrain, especially if it gets steep, you're going to want to want some traction that normal boots usually can't provide. Uh, and that's where crampons come in. Uh, and today we're going to talk about the different type of, types of crampons and what they're good for. On the low end of the technical spectrum, uh, you have micro spikes. Now you've probably seen these a lot on the trail. Um, they are very low profile. Uh, they ball up to a little bit bigger than a fist. You can just, you know, pack them if you're unsure of conditions. They're not going to take up a lot of uh, space and weight. Uh, they have this nice durable uh, rubber harness that wraps fully around your boot. Um, and stainless steel, you know, half inch long uh, spikes on the bottom. And these will grip really well uh, on moderately flat uh, ice and packed snow. You can push them into a little bit of steeper terrain, but you really don't want to be climbing a steep slope with them. Now, moving into actual crampons, uh, you can see that compared to micro spikes, these have much bigger points. Uh, now, crampons are generally either made of steel or aluminum. Aluminum is going to be much lighter and usually less expensive, but also less durable. So if you're just traveling on a glacier or hard packed snow and a little bit of ice, uh, you can probably opt for aluminum crampons. If you're going to be countering a lot of rock and mixed terrain, you're probably going to want steel. Now crampons can attach to your footwear in three different ways. Um, the first way, which we have on this boot, is called a strap-on crampon. Now you'll see at the toe and the heel here, uh, these have pretty universal semi-rigid bindings. Um, and what these do is they make a strap-on crampon compatible with a lot of different types of footwear. You could put these on a regular hiking boot like we have here. You could put them on a ski boot, a snowboard boot. And these, again, these bindings will pretty much go over the toe and heel of anything. The caveat is that they are a tad you know, less rigid and secure than uh, semi-automatic and automatic crampons, which we'll get to in a second. Um, so you're not going to want them, you're not going to want to use them for anything too technical or vertical. These also usually cost less than full auto and semi-auto crampons. Now I should say before we get into the other types of crampons that for all these crampons, not micro spikes though, you'll want a boot that has a pretty rigid sole. You know, when you either engage the front points or are walking on pretty vertical terrain, you're not going to want your boot to flex too much with your steps because that will sort of negate the balance and confidence that you have in your footing when you're wearing crampons. Now the second type of crampon is called a hybrid or semi-automatic crampon. It has a toe binding just like a full step-in crampon, but has a heel bail at the back. Now you'll see uh, this mechanism right here attaches onto what is called a welt at the back of this boot. And you can ratchet in the tightness where when you put this uh, bail down, this will really not budge and uses its pressure against the welt to hold this really solid. And you'll just tighten the toe binding as you would in a full step in crampon. Now you can only use this type of crampon with a boot that has that back heel welt but you do not need a toe welt that you'll find in some mountaineering boots. So this is less versatile than a full, than a full step in crampon, but still pretty versatile on its own. Now the last and most technical type of crampon is a fully automatic or step in crampon. Now this has bales on both the toe and the heel, uh, which both attach to welts uh, on the front and back of a mountaineering boot. And that really gives you the ability to, to ratchet these down and have them really secure. This is the type of crampon that you're going to go with if you're doing pretty steep, really hard and icy conditions. Um, and they are pretty much the most stable and also the most expensive and usually the heaviest crampon options out there. So between these four options, short of doing anything like vertical ice or mixed climbing, you should be prepared for whatever the mountain throws at you.